welcome back to my channel it is pluto of pluto's muse thank you so much for tuning into my channel um this is going to be another timeless general collective reading please like comment share and subscribe if this reading resonates turn on your notification bells check the description box for channel songs book a personal reading with me um if you'd like further guidance the time on my clock says 202 all right for some reason i'm being told to say that that's an area code this could be somebody's area code that I'm talking to, 202. All right, messages for the collective in this reading. Channel songs will be in the de description box as well. That's what I wanted to say. Messages for the collective in this reading, Spirit. Messages for the collective in this reading. Ooh. Okay. Obedience in reverse. The number 48 is significant here. Some of you guys are Libras. Also getting uh, Sag or Capricorn with 12. Obedience in reverse. Is my deck in reverse? No. Honesty. Mm. This seems juicy. <laughs> this reading seems juicy already. This energy is kind of crazy. Okay, so 26. Somebody could be 26 in this reading as well. Hmm. Or somebody is born in August, Leo, Virgo. Ooh, the moon. Look at that cat. I love a cat. 50. Somebody is 50 in this reading or somebody is born in May. Taurus and Gemini. So we got Sagittarius and Capricorn, Leo and Virgo, Taurus and Gemini. To the bottom of the deck. Ooh this is the card about dreams i just finished another reading that i'll post before this one that was talking about dreams as well libra energy is here again august so virgo and uh leo leo heavy wow somebody had a dream about something about a relationship Either a relationship that they need to resist or a relationship that they need to be strong for, hold out for. All right. Um, yeah. Something that somebody's been dreaming about. I'm hearing Daydreaming by Aretha Franklin. That last reading I channeled Aretha Franklin. Franklin. Somebody loves Aretha Franklin. What's her sign? I'll put her sign up when I see it. I'll put it on the screen. Somebody wants to travel with someone or travel to someone. Messages for the collective in this reading. What could this reading be about, Spirit? Messages for the collective in this reading. I'm getting somebody is like admitting to not being loyal to someone as well. There's like a secret coming out about something. Somebody's also going to be working for themselves very soon or they work for themselves. Somebody I'm talking to in this reading could be a um, entrepreneur, healthcare change. Hmm. Now, I was talking about pregnancy in that last reading. Somebody could be working from home or working for themselves because they're about to be pregnant. Be pregnant. All right. I don't know. Let's see. This is crazy. <laughs> Heavenly signs. Some of y'all been getting signs. <sighs> Somebody has a dog. All right. A, a bad dog. Because I'm getting obedience in reverse. is giving bad dog. All right. Or somebody's man is a dog. Woman is a dog. No shade, no tea. Also... These cards just fell. So sorry about the, the jump cut. Um, new exercise program. Hobbies. Somebody likes exercising as a hobby. All right. Or somebody could be turning their hobby of working out into a job. All right. I love that for you. You could be a personal trainer. Yes. Finances. Wow. Look. Moving. Some of y'all. What's going on? 
<laughs> what's going on with this collective? What's going on with this collective in this reading? Moving, parental care. Wow. Some of you, okay, again, something is shifting for someone. All right. A lot of you guys that I'm talking to in this reading could be entrepreneurs or you're about to start your own business. Okay. This could be related to something in the health field. Some of you guys do something related to health, wellness. Um, it could be literally exercising, something like that. Some of you guys make fitness wear or you're thinking about this. Um, some of you guys are dietitians. You help out people with their diets. Or again, like training, personal training. You're trying to do this full time. All right. If not personal training, some of you guys are just putting your health first or your guides are telling you to put your health first because they're preparing you for something. Some of you guys need to know that you're being prepared for something. And I'm getting like it could be a potential child um, or a change. All right. For my masculines that are watching, like something is about to change for you. Could be a financial situation. It looks like for the better. I'm not seeing a negative thing. Some of you guys are about to be able to profit off of a hobby you have. I feel like you're moving. Whoever I'm talking to, you're about to move. All right. After some sort of ending in another situation even. Hmm. Let me clarify that obedience in reverse though. Why is obedience in reverse there though, spirit? Obedience in reverse. Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Swords. Hmm. Somebody is trying to block somebody's destiny. Because some of you guys are about to do something that other people do not want you to do. Or this is what's going on with somebody around you, collective. Somebody's about to do something that other people don't want them to do. This could be about a Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody's about to do something that other people don't want them to do, but it actually is in alignment with their destiny is what I'm getting. Somebody disobeying others is a part of their destiny. Yeah. I don't know whether it's because like they're being led by God to do this. I don't know whether this is something where it's like this is someone that is in some sort of traditional path and they're supposed to be doing something different. But I'm getting like this could be about somebody's uh, south node and north node as well. Somebody stepping into their north node. What's the overall energy of this reading? But the wheel of fortune, somebody about to be in alignment with some money or something. Their destiny or with whatever it is that they want. Yeah, I'm getting their destiny. Somebody's aligning with their destiny. What's the overall energy of the people in this reading? Overall energy of the collective in this reading. Whoever's watching this. That came up in reverse. Two of swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, not, oof. Somebody is coming in to argue. Ooh, not with that devil. Some of y'all got a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Capricorn on your tail. Somebody is coming in to argue because you are not confused. They can't confuse you. Why is that two of swords, knight of swords right here? Somebody cannot confuse you anymore, and this is making them pissed is what I'm getting. I'm really hearing pissed. 2-11 on the time. Yeah, somebody is seeing something. Wow. Somebody can see that you're making a decision to go towards whatever your destiny is. This could be somebody that knew your destiny or knew where you were supposed to go, but they didn't want you to go there. Yeah, like this could literally be about a career path that you're on. Some of you guys are about to start a project or go towards something or you're in alignment with this thing that is meant to lead you down your highest path. All right. And people don't like this or somebody don't like this. Could be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Or like I said, Capricorn was there. What's the energy of the collective in this reading? I'm also getting two. Somebody thought the grass was greener. 
Ace of Swords in reverse. This is your energy collective? What's the energy of the people in the collective? Wow. Some of you guys are stuck in your head about some sort of lie. Somebody lied about something. Nine of Wands. You could have lied. You could have lied about some sort of ending. Mm, I'm also getting two. Obedience in reverse is giving me divorce. Somebody could have lied about some sort of ending that they had. All right. This could have been a... Uh, you could be... <laughs> Hold on. Let me, why is the Ace of Swords here? Somebody is either thinking about a lie that they said or a lie that somebody else said that got them caught up in their head that made them close a cycle. Yes. Could have been a lie told by a Leo or you are a Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Capricorn. I'm almost getting too like somebody lied about like being loyal to someone. Mm hmm. Because I feel like now they want to end a cycle or they're deciding that they want to end a cycle. Somebody's realizing that they're in a cycle. All right. Whoever I'm talking to, some of you guys are realizing that you're in some sort of cycle. Why is the world card here? Some of you guys are also realizing that you want to move. And again, maybe you told somebody that you'd stay with them or something like this. Yeah. But now you're starting to feel like you're stuck in some sort of cycle with this person. All right, a codependent cycle, Pisces, Aquarius, yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys are feeling pulled to end some sort of cycle. You intuitively feel like it's time to leave something behind, someone behind, a job behind, family dynamic behind. You were waiting for this cycle to end on its own. But now it's given like the universe is about to assist you. The wheel is turning in your favor. All right. Because some of you guys could have resisted a lie as well. Somebody lied to you and you're still deciding to do something different. Yeah. You could be a Scorpio. Something is changing. All right. Ooh, heavy on the what the heck. There's something that's changing. It's unexpected. It's divinely guided. What's the external energy of my collective in this reading? The Ace of Pentacles. This came out first. The Knight of Pentacles. Something is coming towards you slowly. Something's been slowly coming towards you. An opportunity towards Virgo Capricorn. Money even. All right. Yeah. Aries Leo Sag. Maybe some of you guys were waiting for another opportunity. Another job. Um, or another offer. Some of you guys can even be looking for, yeah, like another job I'm getting or another offer. There could be somebody at a distance that you're thinking about. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, yes. Why is this page of wands here? Some sort of good news. Somebody's getting good news about a business opportunity. Yeah. About something that they've been waiting on. All right. Somebody's been waiting for something. Somebody could have been waiting for communication from someone about some sort of leap of faith that they were taking. On a new opportunity. All right. I'm also getting two. Somebody in your environment has gotten a download. And again, this feels tied to my last reading. Uh, the one that I post before this one. But somebody has gotten a download from a spirit guide. Either from someone that has helped them out, assisted them somehow. This could be you. You could have said something to somebody. Somebody has like revealed something. Somebody resisted a lie and revealed something. 
<laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and for some reason, it is causing. I'm hearing the the song by ASAP Rocky about the riot or something like that. It's causing drama for some reason. But it's actually pushing an opportunity in your direction of an opportunity that's been a long time coming. All right. Yeah. Somebody's either been waiting to be single or somebody's been waiting for the opportunity to start this business. Somebody has been juggling between a regular job and an, uh, a project that they've been wanting to start. All right. If not that, somebody has multiple streams of income is what I'm getting or somebody's about to have multiple streams. Yeah. I'm also getting two. Somebody's been really indecisive about whether to stay single or to date. And I feel like some of you guys are about to start receiving really good opportunities to connect with people, whether it's platonically or romantically. Be mindful, though. Some of you guys are getting evil eyed. All right. Some of you guys are getting evil eyed. I feel like people are going to be obsessed or somebody is obsessed, y'all. Somebody is obsessive in your energy. This person that wants to stop you from what you're trying to manifest for yourself. All right. This could be somebody that knows that you have a lot of opportunities coming in again. Did I say it in this reading or, or the last one? Somebody could have got some sort of insight on your future. All right. Somebody could have got a reading on you. You could even, you could be a reader. I could be talking to a reader, but somebody got a reading done on you. And I feel like they know what's coming. All right. It's still going to come. It's still coming either way. But I feel like somebody in your energy knows what's coming and they tried to stop it in secret or something like that some of you guys could have had a dream and saw this in a dream that this person tried to stop this what's the challenge here for my collective in this reading if not the dream you just got a feeling of something your challenge here is moving forward moving away from this person or just moving forward in general yeah i want to even say moving forward in peace all right Moving towards this new opportunity, this new job, this new love option, this new love offer, whatever it is that you've been waiting on. Because somebody in your energy is upset. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sag in particular. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy here. Capricorn that is upset. Now... Part of me feels like whoever I'm talking to, you were one foot in, one foot out in a connection. Somebody was not fully invested, and this is the problem. Now, I'm not saying it's a problem because you're moving forward. But this is why somebody feels like you lied or you betrayed them. Because somebody didn't know that you weren't fully invested. Yeah. Yeah. What's up with this person who's coming in to, like, argue with the collective, though? What's up with this person? Who is this person? Somebody didn't know that you weren't fully invested. What's For up some with the of y'all, this is a family member. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Somebody feels like you're walking away from them to go towards a commitment, a new opportunity. All right. Again, I talked about belief systems as well. There's something about contracts as well. All right. This could be a job contract or something like that. Somebody sees that you're moving forward and going towards your legacy. Yeah. Taking a leap of faith on something that will lead to a legacy. Aries energy, Aquarius energy. And they are stressed. They are stressed. Some of you guys are about to have a ton of success in whatever it is you're choosing to pursue. Yes. And for some of you, it's going to require you like making amends with someone. All right. Two, two, two on the time. I don't know if you're apologizing to the person that you're leaving and moving forward or you're making amends with someone to work with them. Something like that. You know, it is Mercury retrograde. So somebody could be coming back to y'all. 
I'm not going to lie. Somebody could be coming back to y'all or you're going back to someone. There's something where somebody is leaving something behind. <sighs> Breaking a contract. Could be a karmic contract. Somebody is breaking some sort of contract to go towards their destiny. All right. Uh, what's the advice here for the collective in this reading? Advice. What's the advice here for the collective in this reading? Four of cups. Mm, King of wands. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Some of you guys are being told to. Let me keep going. Page of Cups. Wow. Two of Cups. The Lovers. Why is this here? Page of Cups. Some of you, <laughs> it's one of two things, y'all. Some of y'all are either being told to ignore someone's apology, <laughs> which is crazy. I don't think that that's it. Some of you are either being told to ignore someone's apology or some of you guys are being told to stop ignoring your feelings and go say what you feel, say how you feel, do whatever it is that you want to do. Pursue the thing, go forward with the thing. I feel like some of you guys are really afraid of some sort of karma that you may get. All right. Because there's somebody in your energy that may leave you behind or like who you're tied to financially that may not like I'm getting some of you are trying to avoid being rejected or left behind. This could even be too. like if you're someone that has been teetering between two relationships, some of you guys don't know how to just be single. Or you have been in this energy like like either you don't know how to be single. So you always have like one foot in a new relationship while also being in another one. Or, you know, some of you guys have been separate from someone, not focused on someone. Everybody's circumstances is different. Could even be a job situation. Some of you guys could have been taking time off of a job or something. There's an energy here where it's like maybe you've been on a break with someone. And you've made a decision about where you want to go or you took time off of work and now you know what you want to do. One more advice card. It's time to make a decision is what I'm seeing. One more advice card. And for some of you, the decision is apologizing to someone or reconnecting with someone. Your advice? I want to say get out of this space of being in a lack mindset or assuming the worst. All right. Some of you guys are really afraid of betraying someone. Yeah, some of you guys are either really afraid of betraying someone or being betrayed. But there's somebody in your energy that wants to work on something with you or um, who you want to work on something with that your guides are telling you to go towards. Maybe you did get a reading and someone told you this or somebody, again, flip the roles. It's definitely an energy here. Somebody being upset because you're going towards what you want to go towards. Somebody got a reading, though. I don't know if it's you that's watching or someone else. Somebody could have gotten a reading that told them that, you know, you were going to reconcile with someone or something's going to happen where um, someone's going to come in and apologize or something like that. Or you're being told to do this. Now, I will say for some of you, somebody knows what your destiny is and they want to join you before you receive whatever this thing is. And again, I don't know who I'm talking to. It's a mixed bag for all of you. But some of y'all need to be okay with leaving someone out who's coming in to apologize because this person is the one that is trying to block your destiny. But for others of you, the person that's coming in is someone that you want to connect with too. All right. Um, or the person that you're being pulled to go towards is someone that you want to connect with too. This is an investment that's been a long time coming. I feel like somebody in your energy does not want you to go towards this person somebody could have lied to you all right um about this person because they didn't want you to go towards this destiny something karmic in here some of you guys are in karmic family dynamics karmic relationships somebody may have tried to make you feel like whatever it is that you want to go towards is wrong or whoever it is you want to go towards is wrong or something like this 
you got to get over your fear of being left behind. Some of you need to step into a more emperor type of energy and do your own thing. All right. Whether this is in a family dynamic, a job, friend group, who knows. There's definitely someone you're concerned about betraying you or leaving you behind or isolating themselves from you or something like that. You got to get over this fear. Let's see. I want an oracle to close out the reading. Hmm. This reading. Message for the collective in this reading. Ooh, I'm not taking it. Message for the collective in this reading. Okay. You have the number nine, 19. Some of you guys are seeing nine, 19, six. So June is significant here. Gemini, Cancer could be relevant. Virgo, uh, Libra could be relevant. And 19 is 10, Scorpio and Libra could be relevant. Let's get into it. Homeward says, Homeward says, take yourself out on a date. Slow down. It's time to press pause and contemplate before the next leg of your journey. It's in those solitary, introspective moments where we learn the most interesting and eye-opening things about ourselves. Take yourself out on a date of sorts, even if it's just a quiet and cozy night at home. Enjoy your own company. Yeah, some of you guys need to know, like, there's an energy here of you needing to put more time into yourself or what you love um, because there could be people around you that have tried to distract you from pouring into yourself or who are trying to keep you bound to them for the wrong reasons whether it's financially or emotionally or something like this um, I am getting an energy here that you need to put yourself first or your goals first um, because some of you guys are definitely transition transitioning into a new phase of your life even in your career you also have to surround yourself with love. It says surround yourself with people who make you feel like the best version of yourself. People you can trust with anything in the world. Maybe you've been distancing yourself from your found family or maybe you haven't discovered your found family yet. You need to make an effort here. Go out there and reconnect or make new connections yes some of you guys are meant to meet new people some of you are ready to leave a, an investment behind to go towards new people new friends new lovers all right again some of you could have gotten a reading or some of you guys are readers, but some of you guys could have gotten a reading where it was telling you to meet new people or, uh, you know, to put your work out there, to put yourself out there. Um, and I feel like there could be somebody that you're bound to currently could be a friend, family member, lover. I mean, I'm getting love or family possibly. Um, there could be somebody that is holding on to your energy or who has tried to stop you somehow, tried to control how you move forward. Um, but I feel like it's time for you to take a leap of faith and to resist some sort of lie. Lie, all right somebody could have lied to you in the past or you've been lying to yourself some of you have been lying to yourself about something that you've been invested in or um something that you you've assumed you wanted to do you want to do something different now phoenix energy it says how's that for a happily ever after heavy on the airy scorpio energy it says no matter how hopeless you may be feeling at this moment know this you can and will survive whatever trials you've been put through from the ashes of the past you shall create a storybook ending filled with beauty and resilience all future flames will cower when they hear the whisperings of your name some of y'all are about to really have have a come up some of y'all about to come up all right some of you guys are really about to come up actually i'm gonna use my manifestation oracles some of y'all are really about to go through some sort of come up and i feel like your guides want you to know like please don't be afraid to be yourself don't be afraid to do what you want to do um don't be afraid to improve yourself even all right to do something that other people may not have seen you do for yourself maybe they didn't expect this from you moving whatever it is your guides are letting you know it's time to do something different um and to put yourself first surround yourself with loving energy but really put yourself first all right there may be people around you that really want to support you whether you're single or not there could be love interests that want to support you and friends and people around you that want to support you in this move this change um people you haven't even met yet so do that thing What's the manifestation mantra for the people in this reading? Ooh. You have to begin the practice of allowing. I must get out of the way and let spirit give me direction. Hello. You have I heal the habit of fear and I embrace the habit of love. I love that. 
You also have at the bottom of the deck, I release time and let the universe show me what to do. Yeah, some of you guys are letting go of the rules, no longer following whatever type of karmic cycle you've been in previously, and you're letting the universe take control and you're going towards your destiny. I love this, all right? Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your notification bells. Check the description box for channel songs. Book a personal reading with me for further guidance. Um, and that is all that I have. Talk to you guys later.